Well, a Huntsville pet owner desperate to find her missing cat was almost the victim of a scam. One that could have cost her hundreds of dollars, maybe thousands. Wait, Theta One reporter Jim Abbott joins me live now in studio with more. Jim. Well, Nicole, it is a scam that Huntsville Animal Services has heard before. Fortunately, in this case, a step back and a little extra help made all the difference. This is the flyer Marguerite McClintock put out on the Nextdoor app hoping someone could help her find her missing cat, Sokka. Then she got a call from a guy named Zach. And he said, I think we have your cat here. His microchip matches uh, records that we have at Huntsville Animal Services. McClintock was initially thrilled and ready to run down there until the caller said her cat needed surgery and needed her permission. She said, sure, but how much will it cost? Well, he goes, let me go look up the numbers. And he comes and he rifles and he says, oh, it's like $3,021. And I was like, oh. McClintock was considering paying it when Zach, the caller, offered an option. You know, we have a uh, city ordinances, as you know, have changed and you have to put a deposit, but we can make a payment plan. But at the same time, McClintock's husband called Huntsville Animal Services on another phone. And they said to beware that it's a scam. Meantime, Zach wasn't giving up. He said he was in the back of the shelter. That's why he had a private number. And then, when he called McClintock back, his new phone number spoofed Huntsville Animal Services. And it says HAS, and it has the phone number. McClintock told him they were going down to HAS to check it all out, and Zach never called back. No money was ever exchanged, and McClintock credits her husband's calm demeanor in helping them detect the scam. I was lucky. And I hope I heard that other people maybe had paid, even if you pay 100 bucks, 50 bucks to somebody, that's like terrible because that's money that they didn't earn. Well, that's why Animal Services confirmed to me that they will never ask you for money over the phone. You'll always need to go to their office. So if you get a call like McClintock got, just hang up. Live in the studio with coverage you can count on. Jim Abbott, Way 31 News.